All right, guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today. For this one, we are going to do another out and about video for you. And this is a little bit different. This is something that we haven't really done on the channel before. So we're going to go in and have a little look around a homebrew shop. And this place behind me, iBrew, you will find in Clemente, in the sort of central western part of Singapore. I'm not sure if that is the proper accurate way to describe it for the locals but yeah central western Singapore and from what I understand many of the uh, now well-known brewers started off uh, applying their trade by buying stuff from here so yeah I thought it was really nice uh, Dr. Joe who featured on the uh, Little Island Brewing Company video he invited me along here uh, to drink a few of the home brews and things and it's been a really nice afternoon so I thought let's have a little walk around and show you guys Singapore's kind of premier uh, home brewing shop. So let's do it. I brew in Clemente, Singapore. Let's switch the camera around. All right, guys. So yeah, this is the outside of the shop here. Um, yeah, we're in the kind of base. I don't know if you could call it the basement of a kind of residential block here. But yeah, um, as you can see, Clemente is. Uh, it's quite nice. You know, Singapore actually, it reminds me, the sort of climate reminds me of like Florida in the US, but obviously it's got the Asian style buildings and it's uh, cleaner, obviously. So um, yeah, um, this is a really interesting shop actually. So there you can see I brew up here. Really simple artwork, very, very nice. Um, some of the guys in here are still enjoying their beers and things. So. Um, yeah, been enjoying a lot of different home brews and things. So, if we start round here, you can see um, they've got a few cans and bottles and stuff that you can buy. In here, there's some of the different yeasts and things. But yeah, you've got your fermentation vessels and stuff. It's really cool. Lots of different kinds of fermentation vessels, incidentally. But then this wall here, you well, this particular shelf set, you have your uh, kind of cleaning supplies. And things like that this is how you're going to clean up all your equipment and stuff um, this part here uh, this stuff is all about water chemistry so you've got your RO water um, your different kind of tablets and things that you can put in and stuff like that then over here they've got the legendary kind of Cooper's brewing kits and stuff like that so um, yeah these are quite interesting so you've got some brewers extract sugar and stuff under here and uh, yeah that continues over there but if we flip round and come over here you can see you've got all your different kind of bottles and containers and uh, stuff like this you've got your bottle caps um, other things in here these are like your nuts and bolts for your um, for your uh, things but yeah then you've got your serving taps it's quite cool that you can buy all of these kind of things here um, so yeah really interesting just to see all this equipment and things but yeah you've got your little fixers pressure gauges and stuff like that in here but um, yeah really nice and then yeah you've got a few of your kind of boiling kettles and your little mash tun filters and things like that over here so um, yeah different kinds of malt malt bags and stuff like that um, yeah, and this trophy up here is to do with the uh, the eyebrow challenge, which we'll talk about with the owner Raymond in just a little minute. But yeah, the other cool thing, if we flip round and just come round here, um, if you come round to this fridge, on the top you have lots and lots of different hops in here. So yeah, um, Czech, German, American, New Zealand, Australian, you name it. So yeah. Amarillo, Chinook, Czech Sats. Uh, what's this one? Uh, Challenger. Sorry, I couldn't even <laughs> couldn't read that. El Dorado, uh, East Kent Goldings, Hallertau, Idaho Seven, Motueka, Columbus, Centennial, Crystal Comet, Falconer's Flight. That's quite a rare one. Really cool to see that uh, all the way out here in Singapore. Galena, Fugles, uh, Galaxy, Herzbrucker, uh, Magnum. Quite a few different varieties of Magnum, Mosaic, Nugget, Sterling, Simcoe, uh, Styrian Goldings from Slovenia, Salaya as it's known as well, Technang, Warrior, Zappa, very weird hop that, Will You Met, oh, along there on the far right, Target, 
Victoria's Secret, Soriachi Ace, Nelson, Northern Brewer, Pearl, Nectaron, Mandarina Bavaria. A few other things here, Citra, Cascade, Cryo Cascade, and then uh, Cryo Simcoe actually. So yeah, this is like almost liquid if you look at it. Um, yeah, really interesting. So there you can see just behind the fridge there, I brew. But if you come down here to the other part of the fridge, you've got all your yeasts and things here. So uh, yeah, Cephala Premium Series, um, Cephala WB06, that's quite a well-known one. Cool yeast, American West Coast, Belgians. Um, yeah, a whole, whole bunch of stuff. But um, yeah, really, really nice selection of things in here. Um, yeah, you can see they've got some of the other Cooper's beer kits in here that are uh, quite well known. So yeah, let's uh, find Raymond and we'll talk to him a little bit about the shop and learn a wee bit of the history. But yeah, that's a wee walk around here at iBrew in Singapore. So let's crack on. All right, guys, so joining me in this video is a man who is something of a legend in the Singapore craft beer home brewing scene, it's fair to say. So this is Raymond, and this is his store. So do you want to tell right. us a little bit about how your store started, when, interesting things about your shop? Well, uh, I have to say that uh, very soon, this actually this year is the 20th year uh, iBrew has been yeah. around. And in 2004, uh, we started this uh, business. So the kick start brewing, get people's awareness about beer uh, and a craft beer. And it's been quite a journey and a very interesting one. And in, in, the, in the few years that has passed, um, you know, craft beer has caught up commercially. A lot of people who, has, who have once been our customer has also started their own brewery here in Singapore. So, well, um, I'm, I'm very privileged to have the front row seat mm. of seeing so many people who have gone through their journey to craft beer. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm proud to do what I do and I'm still loving it. Yeah, no, that's, that's always it. It always, has to, it always starts somewhere. Yeah. And so, I mean, can you tell us like some of the uh, some of the breweries that are now more commercial in Singapore that uh, have started off with, that you've sold things to? Well, uh, one of the one of them is very famous, uh, Brewlander John Wayne. Mm -hmm. uh, John is uh, has been a customer a long time ago, and of course uh, he took his brewing to the next level and started a brewery. And today he is uh, the, one of the biggest uh, craft beer brewing, brewing uh, company in Singapore. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. And of course uh, there are others that uh, you know. They, they, they may not have been very uh, a home brewer themselves, but they have always been in the craft beer scene. Um, so, yeah. We will, we will. And also, we have uh, every year we organize a beer brewing competition. And uh, this, this inspired people to make beer better, learn more about beer, and hopefully, it will also uh, create a better craft beer environment here in Singapore. And we would like to see more craft beer being made. And then one of the big things about uh, iBrew is the iBrew Challenge, which happens in like mid to late April every year. So can you tell us a little bit about that as well? Yes. So uh, next month, 20th uh, April, will be our 15th annual uh, uh, iBrew Challenge. Uh, and this, this is, a, this is a basically a home brewing contest. And, uh, and, uh, uh, um, so, so what we do is that we, we invite all the home brewers here in Singapore to submit their beer to us and then we divide, I mean it, it's a very sport, uh, a broad spectrum and then of course we subdivide it into different categories and we judge them according to the BJCP guideline, mm. the style um, and here we got quite a number of BJCP judges as well um, so we uh, award them with uh, you know, uh, Every category we have a winner and runner up, and of course once once we have the winners, uh, we pre judge. I do challenge the event itself is basically a prize giving ceremony uh, where we announce the winner, and at the same time we it's a, it's a day that we have also a lot of home brewers who bring their beer here, uh, contribute to the event, and we bring a lot of home brewers. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, as the guys watching the video have seen, you have a really nice shop. You've got a little bit of everything. Going. I was really impressed that going through your yeasts and your hops, you've got stuff from you know, New Zealand, uh, Slovenia, yeah. everywhere. You've right. got stuff from everywhere. So, 
in Singapore it is possible to brew pretty much any style that you would like. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Pretty any style that you like. Uh, in fact, most of the ingredients we import from overseas, mm. uh, US, Australia, uh, in some part of Europe. Uh, we don't really get the ingredients here in Singapore, uh, but then again, Singapore is a top, uh, cosmopolitan country and we, we get all of yeah, yeah. It's, it's always interesting that to talk about the economics of the beer in each country as well. But um, yeah, no, it's um, this is kind of cool to do this. This is the first time we've done a uh, like homebrew shop look around on the channel, and to do it in Singapore is still is it fair to say Singapore is still kind of in the infancy almost of it. Uh, uh, no, not really. It's, yeah. it's just that Singapore is a small country, mm. and of course, uh, in, in, in terms of numbers, uh, you're not going to see a lot of uh, presence. And, mm. and home brewing is also a hobby where um, not a very big group of people uh, in the community. Mm. Uh, so that's why there are only uh, still two shops here in Singapore, home brew shops. Okay. Um, I, I can't see that there's five or ten home brew shops here. Mm. It's a, it's a very niche uh, Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, I've been impressed with the standard of the beers. I mean, one of the things we were talking about inside was some of the, the best beer in Singapore just now. I mean, uh, I was really impressed with the Alive guys. Mm -hmm. um, Sunbird were very good. Um, Outermost, is that the name? Yes, yeah, Outermost. Outermost, yeah. they're doing some really good stuff yeah. as well. There's some really good bars here at locality who are showcasing all these uh, brews. So could you maybe list some uh, breweries for people that you reckon from Singapore they should check out? Uh, okay, uh, when you say breweries, you mean brew pub or you mean just the bread? Whatever, whatever, yeah, okay. whatever you like, yeah. Uh, well, you've been to Little Island, mm -hmm. all right? They, they are out at Changi, recently they opened another uh, place that's near it, closer to town. Um, mm -hmm. Then of course you have um, Archipelago is another brewery that is under uh, APB, Tiger Beer. Mm -hmm. All right, I, I mentioned uh, Blue Lander, and then there's uh, Ryan Pine, mm -hmm. okay, and then Sunbird, like you said. Um, so there are, well, uh, I can't name them all, but um, there is definitely uh, a, a lot of uh, brewery that opens up uh, in the last few years. But it has kind of slowed down a little bit, but uh, I'm sure uh, there's, there's a, just an economical uh, reason, but yeah. COVID, pandemic, yeah. all this kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. All right. No, that's a really nice little rounded view of the, the Singapore beer scene. And as I say, it's cool to film something a bit different after 11 years doing this. This is the first uh, homebrew. And, and you had to yeah. do it again, so. Yeah, no, it's cool. Yeah, no, we're doing it in somewhere that's completely different. So, yeah. yeah. So, guys, um, Come and visit uh, Raymond at iBrew. If you're a local Singaporean, come here, have a go at brewing some beer. He's got everything you could want. And uh, yeah, otherwise, come say come say hello, bring a can of beer, and uh, yeah, thank have you. fun. Yeah, do that. So yeah, no Raymond, thank you for your time, yeah. and uh, thank you for uh, letting me come along. Yeah. This this is Saturday afternoon. I'm losing track of time. Yeah. So this video was filmed Saturday the 30th of March, 2024. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm remembering time. When you study physics and chemistry, you don't care so much about time, but yeah. Uh, yeah, no, so guys, uh, I'll give you my little final thoughts and stuff outside the second. but again, thank you to Raven for his time. This yeah. is a really, really nice thank video you. to do. So yeah, there we go, cheers. All right, guys, well, um, just a little rounding off of my time here at iBrew in Clemente in Singapore. You know, this was quite an unexpected video to make. Um, the first time that we've done a sort of homebrew shop tour here on the, the channel. But this whole thing came about because of uh, Dr. Joe, who you saw in the um, Little Island Brewing Company video. He invited me along and said that this is a kind of almost like closed door event. So I got invited along to try uh, to, to come and just enjoy the time, meet some of the local home brewers and things like that, and to uh, just enjoy a few hours drinking some beer here. So it was interesting. We got to try a few different American IPAs, tried some uh, home-brewed beers. I had a Goza, a barley wine, and also like a smash beer with uh, Motueka, and then I tried some meats, actually. Um, so yeah, really, really nice time here, actually. And this just kind of goes to show you the Singapore craft beer scene 
um, is great. There's a lot of really, really nice people involved in it and this was a little bit of a special treat. So big thanks to Dr. Joe uh, for making this one possible and also a big thanks to uh, to Raymond for uh, for letting me film in his, uh, in his shop and showing you guys Singapore's kind of premier um, craft beer shop. So um, yeah, that's us signing off here. I brew in Clemente in Singapore. If you're a Singaporean local, come here, get some of your stuff and have a go at brewing because yeah, it's a, uh, we need more craft brewers uh, in the world generally, but this place is really, really cool. Catch you guys very, very soon with another out and about video. This is something a little bit different for you and I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my social media, check out iBrew's social media and I'll catch you guys very, very soon. Ciao just now.